we start just some simple little slides understanding wood floors what went wrong here you're seeing here is we got cupping here we got gapping the size of a quarter here you got some planks that dried up and just peeled right off the floor is this cup floor is this water damage or ambient air when we start looking at of a, a, like a concern for example this one here would be as localized water because we don't have cupping out in the outside areas of, of the it's primarily through this section here so we would actually have either from wet sub floor or it'd be topical water that created the issues what about cupping caused by dry conditions have we experienced this anybody <laughs> had that issues and you start asking yourself when we have that type of scenario what causes that? Remember going back to gents and telling us, you know, we, we know it cut, but what is the reason for it? Well, we go back to is most of the time you're going to find environmental conditions, and if we were to take just dry air, my little demo here, on just an ordinary piece of paper, you're going to see that paper cup in a matter of a minute, in the very beginning. Because what's happening is the top of the surface is releasing moisture and it's now lifting, there'll be so much stress on that material that it'll actually tear an engineered floor apart. So we started out with a flat piece and look at it now. It's already cupped. It's the very same thing that's going to happen with an engineered product when we get into of having a dry environmental conditions. So it's important to understand when you see something like this, what was the actual causation of the concern? Now we get into understanding cupping is simply a moisture imbalance, as we saw here. The, the moisture imbalance, even though it's kind of microscopic here, but you're looking, it's drier on the surface than it is on the bottom. And because of that imbalance, it'll cause it automatically to cup. And that's what typically is, like the NWFA will state, it's simply a moisture imbalance through the thickness of the material. Moisture will be higher on the bottom, and the, of the flooring, it can be improper acclimation. For example, uh, if the product was installed uh, in a wet environment or a lack of proper humidification, where we just saw now on an engineered product where it dried the surface and caused that moisture imbalance. And it's the same thing as substrate related. It could have been from moisture conditions that were too high at the time of installation.